What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shiva. And I'm here to give you an update on my locks. I just had my locks retightened yesterday. So what I did to last night was I came home and I braided them up in sections. I'm doing a braid out. I braided them up in sections. I put them in these flexi rods right here. I did three, six, nine, and some I put two on a flexi rod. I didn't do them, I didn't unbraid them, I didn't braid them too small, but I figured, oh, this is a, a moment I can come into you guys and show y'all what it's looking like. So, it's curl, and I'm gonna use this avocado oil, it's 100% natural, and it is for moisturizing skin, nails, hair, and scalp. And I'm gonna put this on the tip of my hands as I take my hair loose. Sometimes I put, I like when I put my hand, <clears throat> excuse me, when I put my hand in my hair, I like it to have a little moisture to it. Normally I do water, but I'm not gonna do water because it's a little airish and cool outside, so I'm not gonna put any water on my hair this morning like I normally do. But I am gonna put this oil on the tip of my hand, and I am going to um, let's push that down. Put this in the lid. And I'm just gonna dip my finger in there as I touch my hair. a cat pool. So I hope everybody having a beautiful blessed day. Uh, normally when I take my, my hair, when I break my hair, I normally twist the end so it's not that hard. I don't put a rubber band on them. I, I can, because I got some color rubber bands now, but I haven't. I just um, braid them like so, and then twist them at the ends. So I didn't have much new growth this last time when I had my retightening. I actually normally go every five weeks, but I pushed it out to six weeks because I really didn't have that much new growth. It's like the back of my hair grows faster than the front. So I figured, let me just wait an extra week, which I did. I waited the six week and I got my hair retightened. And um, there was one lock that um, my loctician decided to combine, and actually it was one of my edges that she combined with one of my locks that was next to it, which I have no problem with that, because she's all about, you know, making sure the base is strong and that your lock foundation is what you want. It's not so much as how many locks you have, but it's all about the foundation, having a strong foundation for your locks. Last one. Okay, so they're all taken down. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do now with the leftover oil, I am going to just kind of put some in my scalp. Put some on my fingertips like here, and then kind of like 
rubbed in my scalp. Normally I don't put oil directly on my scalp. I normally put it in my water solution, but because I'm not putting um, any water on my hair today, I'm just gonna put it directly on my hair. Now this is a fun part, because now I'm gonna show you my hair, my grid, and everything. Here we go. Like this. Okay, I hope y'all saw that. And then of course, y'all know I got my little grays trying to peek back through. <laughs> and it looks like I don't have any edges, but I do. It's just that it's, um, they're, as they're growing, they're catching them up in my locks with my new growth. This one right here is the last one that they put in, that she put in about a mm, couple months ago. And it's growing as y'all see. So as my edges grow in, she's catching them up to my locks. And of course the new growth, that's all new growth y'all. Cause you remember I dyed my hair. I dyed my hair September. Um, yeah, because it was, it was like, it was a couple days before my anniversary. Our anniversary was September the 4th. And I dyed my hair and as y'all can see, this is all new growth. Cause that's all coming in. Oh, that's the right there, new girl. So once that growing out, then she'll catch that up to my locks too. So yeah, y'all got some new girl from putting their hands in position. That's how I can tell. And I have not been putting any edge control on here. Remember my, my color edge control? Remember, <coughs> excuse me. Remember at first I started out with the um, black and then I finally got the brown. I have not put any of that in my hair. No edge control. I ain't trying to lay no edges. I'm just letting them just free form and just growing out and as they grow out she add them into my um into the, my locks so yeah what y'all think about my hair y'all think about my locks i am 17 months locked i know i showed y'all another video uh me being 17 months locked but that was before of course before my retie so now i'm able to get my retie y'all this is this is a braid out and i and I, again i use oil instead of water and, I'm, and I love my center part, and, I, and it's working right now. 
you know, I got a forehead, but hey, the center part is working right now. Let me show y'all. And let me tell y'all, you can never have a bad hair day. They say trust the process, just trust the process. Because even on your bad days, there's still good days because guess what? You ain't gotta go through the hassle of trying to do your loose natural hair and all that kind of stuff, okay? So I'm, and I tell you, like I told you in my last video, lock up, lock up, lock up. Get them, get your hair locked, why not? Why not? And stay locked, don't be taking things down. So anyway, um, like this right here, she combined one of my edge uh, ones that was here with um, this one right here. She combined it with this one right here. This one right here, she combined it with, see that? And then I am going to take, remember the hair that broke off? I am going to take, I wanted to get my retie first. I am going to take this piece, right, this right here. I am gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna attach that to here. So once I've done that, I, I, I did attach it to here, but then I took it off and said no, because I don't want it being tousled with when I gotta wash my hair and then I get to retie. I wanna make sure I get the full five or six weeks in with it in my hair. So tonight, what I would do, I'll do a little short video. I will take this piece of hair right here. I showed y'all before in another video when we're eating, but I'm gonna take this piece of hair right here piece of that edge right here and I'm going to um, attach it I'm gonna crochet it in so I want y'all to let me know when I do do it say yeah I remember you said you're gonna do that but yeah I'm loving my hair I'm loving my locks you guys I love them I am not gonna take these things down I'm going to just rock with them because they are rocking with me right now what y'all think about my locks I know it for the ones that, that start with the very first day of my journey Y'all have seen the progression of my hair. Remember before it was like, woo, my scalp was so exposed. The sun was burning my scalp, y'all. It was like I was in an oven. Yeah, with bacon grease on my head. That's how it was burning, y'all. But now, y'all see? Yes, yes. I'm loving my locks, y'all. I'm loving my locks. I'm loving my locks and I'm loving the journey and I'm trusting the process. So, until the next video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And get me out in the algorithm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my I'm gonna leave my hair just like this, y'all. I'm not gonna change it. And you see what I did is fingered it out, and that's it. Take them out on the roll sets, unbraid them, boom. And I'll let this stay like this for a couple days. Um, I'll sleep, of course, with my hair net because you know I don't want any lint in my locks, and you know we gotta take care of our hair whether it's in a locks form or any other form, but yeah. So I hope I was able to give y'all a good view of my locks. Uh, like I say, when I originally dyed my hair, it was just for my roots. And as y'all can see from the gray that's popping out, that's new growth, baby. Cause the dye is growing out. Yeah, see y'all next video. Bye. Love you guys. What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella Erfurg. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out. Challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you. So come on over.